Hello everyone. My name is Nitin. I am a SAP Certified Development Professional. I am taking a course on SAP Hybrids. In this course, I am covering all the topics of Hybrids, starting from the basic to advanced. This is a brief about myself. I work as a senior Hybrids developer, and this is my email ID, Nitin. Dot Hybrids at the rate gmail dot com. You can reach out to me over this email ID in case you have any questions or concerns regarding this course or regarding this particular topic. The topic which I am covering today is providers and resolvers in Hybrids. So basically, providers and resolvers are a way. Uh, which is used in Hybris to send the data to Solar to get indexed. Solar is the by default search engine which comes with uh, SAP Hybris, and Solar is used for searching and uh, displaying the details of uh, products on the PLP pages. So I'll be I'll be showing each and everything which I'm talking about right now, and uh, these these are the topics which will be covering in this topic in this uh, particular lecture. Sorry. So uh, what are providers? What are resolvers? Which one to use when? When we will gonna use the providers? When we use the resolvers? Basically, both of them serve the same purpose. So we just need to decide upon our business scenario which one to use when. And we will be implementing one value provider. So I will be creating one value provider which will be showing the uh, details of a product, the data which is there into the database, and we will be sending it to Solar and fetching it over the PLP page. Okay, so. First one is providers in Hybris. So basically, provider is a Java class which will implement these two interfaces: field value provider or field name provider. These two interfaces will be implemented any of them, and we will be overriding these methods of these interfaces respectively: get field value, get field name, and this uh, will return the field value which we want to index. So basically, in the end, this these methods will be returning those values which we want to index it to Solar. Okay. What are resolvers? So, the value resolvers are also uh, like similar to providers, but they are more efficient replacement of the value providers which we have right now. They group the index property using the same value provider. So, if you have a value provider which will be using, uh, which will be used by several index properties, then they it will group them and will resolve the values and will send it to Solar. It extends the abstract value resolver class, which internally have the interface implemented and it is also having the add fields value method which we we gonna override so these are the basic differences between providers and resolvers uh, as of now you just need to remember that both of them are used to send the data to solar depending upon your business scenario you gonna use a resolver or provider which one to use when so basically providers are used when if you want to Send a data to Solar, but you don't uh, send it directly. You just need some modifications to it. In short, if you want to customize it and send it to Solar, then you will gonna use the providers. We will be using the resolvers when we need to change the local context of all uh, context also. So if you want to change the local context also, then we gonna use a resolver. Otherwise, provider is uh, very good to send data to Solar. And this is the uh, package. I will be mentioning this into the description also. So if you go to this package, here you will be seeing all these uh, all the providers which is being provided out of the box Solar. So this is the Solar Server Jar package. Here you going to uh, see all the providers which are provided out of the box by Hybris. Okay, now how we implement a value provider. So let me explain you the business scenario which we are going to implement. So what we are going to do is we have a product which is having certain number of reviews. So those reviews, let's say a product is having 10 reviews. So that 10 reviews plus the reviews text we are going to show at the PLP. So let's say if you have a product, for example, just a second, I am going to open my notepad for my okay. So if you have a product, let's say and it is having 10 reviews then 10 is the number sorry 10 reviews then on plp you want to show 10 reviews like this so this reviews text is not coming from database we will be appending this to this number of reviews which we have although we, this can be done by some other ways also i'm just uh, just for the explanation purposes that we can customize a data which is already there into database by using a provider i'm going to implement a simple scenario you can you can implement whatever you want from your site okay back to our slide 
so how we going to implement uh, the value provider so what we going to do is we will be creating one java class training product review count control provider and in this we will be implementing the field value provider interface which i have mentioned in the previous slides after that we will going to add this this class this class which we have created to the spring xml context and then after that we are going to create one new field which we are going to show on the uh, plp page so what we are going to click, uh, create is number of reviews for plp this will be our field and this will be a part of the product data product data will be used to render this value over the tag file or jsp file after that what we are going to do is we are going to create one populator which will be used to populate this value this value from the search results of solar to the product data so we will be going to create one training search result variant product populator which will extend the out of the box search result variant product populator and after that this this populator will send uh, will will provide the value to this product data from solar after that we are going to create one impex that i will be attaching into the description also you can take it from here and i will be attaching the java classes also in case you need to have a reference of it so after creating one impex this impex will provide this field number of review for plp to the index type and then we will be running the solar indexing in our, from our back office and we are going to test what we have uh, on our plp so i'll go to my okay so this is the java class which i have created <coughs> training uh, product review count provider so this provider location will be in training core we have one package which is search.solarsearch.provider which is provided out of the box you can create your package also in this we i have created one provider so this provider is implementing this field value provider interface which i have mentioned in this particular interface we have a method get field values this method so we are going to override this method and we are going to return the value which we want to index so here uh, these are the uh, these are the parameters which it uh, will have index config index property and the model so model is the item type which we going to index uh, which we which we want to uh, like get the value from so i will check the product model uh, whether the model which is coming is in instance of product model or not otherwise i will throw in throw an exception it will say that the item is not a product instance otherwise if it is true what i am going to do is i am going to create one product instance here i will be creating one list in this list i will be adding the field values from the index property so i have created one more method to it you can you can uh, do the logic here also and then you can uh, add it to the list but just for simplification purposes i have created one more method this method will do nothing but will take the review count from the product model here the product model is passed so in product model i will be getting the number of reviews let's say 12 reviews is there and after 12 i am appending one text to it so this is my modification this is just a simple modification you can create your own business scenario you, you can do whatever you want to do with this uh, particular data which is coming from the database so this is from database product dot get product reviews if i get 12 reviews it will append plus this space reviews to it and i will see this value when i uh, when i index the property to solar after that i will be checking whether it is null or not then i will be adding these field values to the index property so this is uh, for this also i have created one more method so in this method i have done nothing but the list which i have created here the empty list which i have created here i have passed it and uh, the index property and the value which i am going to index this index value will be added to the field values that is that list and like in the end i will be returning the same list itself here so for this i have used used this field name provider so this field name provider is uh, like is, is a pin which is being provided out to the box in this field name provider i have uh, used the get field value get, get field names method in this i have passed the index property so these field names will be iterated and these field names will be uh, like this field value which i have created here which i have extracted from here that review count will be added to this field value in the end the list will get returned from here after this uh, list is being returned this return 
list will passed here and I will get my values uh, in the into my uh, get field values method and it will be sent to solar so this is the whole provider which I have created I will be attaching it to, to, to the description also so you can uh, get it from there and have a reference but I will encourage if you can create your own business scenario and you can write your own provider for this so the next step will be adding it to the spring or file yeah so in the training course spring.xml I have made one entry for it so I have created the bean ID given the class and the field name provider is the field which I have used here yeah. so that also I have provided next step will be creating a new field this number of reviews for PLP in product data so for that I have created I have extended that product data bean which is already there out of the box I have created one more attribute number of reviews for PLP and the type is string so this will hold the value which will be coming from solar so after that I will be running my ant all and after the build what I will have is in this product data I will have my new attribute created this so this field I have uh, now I have this field into my so after I do the end all this field will be the part of product now what I need to do is I need to pop create a populator which will be taking the results from the solar populator and will be adding to the product data so that I can show it on the GSP so for the, this I have created training search result variant populator so I have created one populator which is extending the search result variant pop product populator which is out of the box I have overrided the populator method in this I am calling the super method so that the other values which are going to be provided by to this particular uh, product data should come after that I am using my own value which I am going to populate into the product data so what I will do target dot set target is my product data I will be setting the number of reviews for PLP here and will be taking the values from this particular index property so when we do the indexing this value will have the value which is coming from uh, th this field basically will have the value coming from solar and it will be going to the source <coughs> it will be going to the sorry to the target so basically this is the field value which we are going to fetch and will be adding to so number of PL, uh, number of reviews for plp this field basically to the product data after that next step will be the creating the impex so i need to find this impex there it is so this is my impex this impex i will be attaching into the description also for your reference so here i have created the new index property that is the by the name of number of uh, reviews for plp this index property name should be equal to the one which we going to give here so this this property and this name should be same so if you give some other property it will not get the exact values also after that I will be mentioning the type of it what type of it is string or not it, if it is localized or not if you want to index it into the different language or not so I have made it as false as of now for simplicity purposes what field value it's going to use so this is my field value provider which I have created so here you need to give the bean ID of the provider which you have created so I have created the bean provider here so this is my bean ID this bean ID I need to give it into my impex here so what field value you are going to use what is the uh, name of your index property ok so after this you need to run this impex after this once you run this impex you will be having a new index property being created into your index type so the index type is here your index type is just a second this one electronics product type in this you have a new property which is going to index now once this is done what you need to do is you need to run the full indexing so for running the full indexing go to your back office so sorry it's taking some time maybe because of the first login ok so if I go to here and I will search face it 
open the second option face search configurations so here I have some certain index types but my index type will be electronics index type so I am going to open it and I will show the index property which is being created so if I go to index types here right now I am not, not doing the indexing just showing the the previous uh, statement which I have given that a new index property will be created after running the index so if I go here see number of is the full name of it if I open it I am not sure why it's not showing the full name here so if I open it into the edit one it will show the full name see here number of reviews for PLP this is the new field which is being created once we run the index so now uh, this this is having the properties here uh, some some properties like face set or multi valued or not so these kind of properties are there you can make it as a face set also if you want so if you make it as face set true it will show into your plp page onto the left side of the filters okay so now uh, that is not our motive here uh, our motive is to run the indexing so what you need to do is once you land on this index type uh, you need to just select this option index click on it select the full indexing run start So once you start the full indexing, it will take some time. So bear with me here. Okay. Now once it is finished, what we gonna do is we going to hit a any PLP page. So I am hitting this brands page. So once I hit this brand page, oh sorry, one step I missed here. So after the indexing, you need to add this particular field also into your product lister item dot tag file also because you need to show it what i have done is i i also i'll also mention this uh, file name also product lister item dot tags this is the file which is responsible to show the data on plp <coughs> whatever uh, whatever data you have on plp it is coming from here so here i have uh, created one more line i am iterating the product data and using that number of uh, reviews for plp attribute here so it so what i'll do now is i'll just remove it for now and we'll save the file so if I reload my PLP, <coughs> so this is my PLP here. So that PLP, if I add that line again here, save it and reload the PLP again. So after the indexing, you are going to see this value which is coming here. I have uh, like integrated, I have written this line here. Wherever you want to show, just uh, like write it according to you. So this 26 reviews, this is coming from Solar now. So this this reviews, zero reviews like that. So you can you can make some uh, checks there. So I have missed that check. You can make that check whether your number of reviews is greater than zero or not. So if it is greater than zero, you can uh, you just show it. Otherwise, it don't show it. So we can uh, write a check here also whether the reviews are greater than zero or not. So basically, uh, the my point to you here is that this reviews part is coming from the modification which we have done to the original existing data uh, data from coming from the database and the numbers are coming from the database so this is the job 12 and this is space reviews uh, this is my email id nathan.hybris.gmail.com in case if you have any questions or concerns you can reach out to me uh, directly over this email id and you can comment in the below uh, below in the comment section also Thank you and have a nice day. Stay safe. Please stay at home since the COVID situation is very bad in India. So I would request all of you to stay at home and take care. Thank you.